In about 5 billion years, the sun will become a white dwarf. But before that, it will go through a red giant phase. At that point, the sun will swell nearly to Mars's orbit, engulfing Mercury, Venus, and possibly even Earth. After the red giant stage, powerful thermal pulses will blow off its outer layers, forming a brilliant planetary nebula like the Cat's Eye Nebula. The remaining core will slowly cool over billions of years into a faint white dwarf. Will Earth be destroyed? It's entirely possible. The Sun is currently a middle-aged yellow dwarf, having burned for more than 4.57 billion years out of its total lifespan of about 10 billion years. Even now, it fuses over 4 million tons of matter per second to emit light and energy. When it becomes a red giant, the Sun's diameter could grow to 200 times its current size. Although stellar winds may cause the Sun to lose about 30% of its mass, pushing Earth's orbit outward, studies show that tidal forces could still pull Earth in and swallow it. Even if Earth escapes being engulfed, it will become uninhabitable. All water will evaporate. The Sun's brightness increases by about 10% every billion years. Within one billion years, Earth's temperatures will be too high for liquid water to exist, and life will gradually disappear. At that point, Mars might be the best candidate for human migration. Venus may once have been similar to Earth, but the Sun's increasing brightness turned it into a scorching hell. Earth's future is extremely uncertain. Remember, the Sun was born from a collapsing hydrogen cloud. Earth formed in violent collisions, survived meteor impacts and ice ages, and only then nurtured life. Although humanity now dominates Earth, we don't yet have the technology to change the fate of our planet, or the Sun. The most practical thing we can do right now is conserve energy, reduce emissions, and live sustainably, because protecting Earth means protecting our own future.